Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I hope you're having a great Friday and you are ready for a great weekend and will join us for worship this weekend. Hey, do you have a friend or a family member who loves to argue with you about the Bible or about Jesus? Uh, I mean, I do. I have a brother and it's really, really annoying uh, because all he wants to do is argue. He doesn't really want to discuss. He doesn't really want to uh, exchange ideas and he definitely doesn't want to listen. Uh, But if you do, so did Jesus. Only they weren't friends. They were the the Sadducees, the people who ran the temple and they, uh, they... tried to trick Jesus with a question. That's what we find in Matthew 22, 23. It says the same day, Sadducees, those are the guys in power that ran the temple, they came to Jesus uh, and said to him, they say, uh, they, by the way, they said there was no resurrection, saying, teacher, Moses said, if a man dies having no children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died, and having no offspring, left his wife to his brother. Uh, And uh, so to the second and third, and all the way down to the seventh, and after them all, the woman died. In the resurrection, therefore, of the seven, whose wife will she be? For they all had her. I love this. Jesus answered them, you were wrong because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astonished at his teaching. Uh, I I love this uh, account because first of all, Jesus answers their absurd question Uh, by simply saying, you don't understand the scriptures and you don't even understand God and his power. Uh, And and basically he's saying the resurrection is real. They were against the resurrection. Uh, He says resurrection is real, but you don't understand it because you don't understand the scriptures and because you don't understand God, you don't understand how things work and and you don't get it. You don't understand it. And and I'll just tell you this, heaven is real. We're going to go there as followers of Jesus, but we don't know how incredible it's going to be. It's just going to be better than anything you've ever experienced in this world in every single capacity, and which is mind-blowing. We can't really imagine it at all. We can just anticipate how good it's going to be. And then secondly, Jesus directly confronts their disbelief in the resurrection of the dead. He says, look, God is the God of the living, not the God of the dead. You don't get it. You don't understand Now, of course, this is literally days before these same men will condemn Jesus to die, and Jesus is crucified, buried, and raised from the dead. And you know the amazing thing? Is the chief priests knew that Jesus was raised from the dead because the soldiers went and testified about it, uh, and you can read about it in Matthew 28. They went and told them this is what happened. And you know what they did? They didn't suddenly repent and celebrate the resurrection of the dead they paid hush money to the soldiers to lie about it. You see, no matter how well you argue or debate, some people just aren't going to believe. And that's sad. But today, what I want to encourage you to do is read God's word, believe God's word, hope in the resurrection, and know that you're going to be with God for all eternity. And let that encourage you, because if you're a follower of Jesus, the best is yet to come. Hope that blesses you. Have a great day.